to my shop. I am uh, pretty excited. I love being out here. And uh, I've got a project that I'm going to start working on. Um, have you, have you all seen the, the tailgate chairs or the little wood benches made out of tailgates for the back? Let me show you what I have. Well, uh, I have a tailgate. <laughs> and over here, I got some lumber. I've at least got to show you my new drill press too. Really excited to have that drill press. I, uh, a guy had it here locally, he didn't want it, uh, so I traded him one of my knives for the drill press. So there we have it. Uh, I have a tailgate, I have some lumber, so that's kind of where I'm at this morning. I'm gonna have some coffee, warm up a little bit, warm the shop, and uh, just kind of think about how I want to go about getting started here. Morning coffee's amazing. This is my last cup. Uh, I might have to go uh, brew up another pot. But I've just taken some measurements and uh, I've put together on this little piece of masonite my plan. Bam! So these are all rough measurements and I'm gonna go ahead and start making some sawdust. What I'm gonna do is cut uh, the lumber down to a rough size um, and then get it on the jointer and the planer and uh, make sure it looks nice. All right, so these are the legs, uh, the big redwood 4x4s. Right now, I'm just looking at the wood. Uh, there's some pretty big knots and things that I just want to cut out. So I'm just going to make some measurements on the wood, and hopefully we can get the, the four legs that I need out of this without having to use some of these big knots in, uh, where it's chipped out really bad right here. I don't want to have to mill it down that far, so I'm hoping I can cut that out, cut this little section out, and that should be plenty of material for my legs. So I just got the main seat post and the structural supports uh, rough cut. These are all about two inches uh, over where they need to be. But at this point, I'm going to start with these and I'm going to uh, joint and plane them. Get them all uh, squared up and looking pretty. Don't be like me and forget to wear your mask. <laughs> I just got through two boards, so I'm gonna get my mask on and finish the other four. So my wood here is joined and planed, and uh, it's still at a rough length. So now I guess I need to take a minute and figure out precise measurements on where I want this thing to uh, come in at. But hey look, there's a pencil I lost. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do now, and uh, I think I'm gonna dado these into here for its width or length, however you want to look at it, but the first thing is to figure out what my final dimensions are going to be. They're still rough. So I think I want my front legs at 23 and a half inches, and I'm going to use my crosscut sled on the table saw to do that. The blade doesn't come up high enough, so I'm going to have to do it in two passes. But uh, yeah, we're going to do the front at 23 and a half, and then I'll uh, take some measurements and see what we're going to do the rear at. Well, scratch using the crosscut sled. This piece was in the way with a 4x4, and I didn't feel like removing it, though I probably will for a, a later cut. So I've changed uh, the way I'm going to cut these down to length, and I'm going to do it over on the miter saw. Though I have a mark, I uh, used that little stop block right there for repeatability. 
We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and make these two cuts. Those look perfect. All right, so the two back legs I've decided are gonna be about 38 and a half inches. So I've got the two flush sides squared up to each other and I'm gonna mark uh, the other end here and whack them both off so they're the same length. Now those look perfect. Well, I just made two really big mistakes. Uh, I'm not super thrilled about it. I'm gonna have to go back to the hardware store. I thought I measured and double measured before I cut, but I messed up somewhere. Those two boards are kind of the main structural supports for the leg assemblies, and I don't want to butt joint them or pocket joint them to the, to the legs. I was gonna make a nice dado uh, for uh, strength. I want it done a specific way. I am going back to buy two more pieces of wood. And just like that, we're back in the shop already. So uh, don't be like me, don't make that mistake. I measured twice, still did it wrong. Not quite sure how that happened, but uh, you know, it just happens sometimes and we're gonna deal with it. Usually I have enough scrap wood uh, to get me out of a bind when I do that, because that's not the first time. All right, so we are back to where we left off. I've got the lumber milled down and I'm gonna cut these uh, support braces down to about three inches. Uh, I just had to remove my little support here so I could do the dado joints for my uh, supports. And I cut a little piece off of the cutoff uh, from one of those supports that I'm going to use to set the blade alignment. One, two, three blocks. They're amazing. The camera probably didn't capture that, but what I did is I uh, raised the blade until it kicked the block, just a hair, and then I backed it off just a little bit. It should be a pretty, pretty accurate cut. Okay, so I've got all the tops and bottoms marked, and I've got the bottom end here up against the stop block, and I'm going to make my dados at 15 and a half inches. So I'm going to make the first cut on each, on each uh, board, and then I'll adjust it and make the second cut on each board, and then I'll come back and dado out everything in the middle. Uh, that way, even if I'm off a little bit, at least everything will be consistent. Okay, so uh, there I just made the first eight cuts. Now I'm just gonna use the same table saw and cut out uh, everything in between and I should have some pretty good fitting uh, joints. Why don't I use a dado stack, you ask? Well, I don't have one. So I think uh, 74 inches is uh, kind of the length I'm going for. That gives me about 3 sixteenths, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch on each side of, uh, you know, in between the tailgate and the, the legs. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. And it's almost time to start buttoning this thing up and uh, at least getting the, the chair portion of it made. Well, I forgot to hit the record button, but I, Clamped both these boards together, and I just cut them down to uh, final size, 74 inches. Cut them at the same time, so I know they're the exact same size with them clamped together. Let me get some of this sawdust out of the way. So I can use my assembly table. Well, there's a good screw. We'll set that aside. Four inches. Seventy four inches. Final 
double check. So I just clamped the front and back legs together to make sure everything was uh, flush. And now I'm gonna repeat the process. Okay, so uh, I decided to cut the rest of the sports for the seat, but I am officially done now. I'll probably uh, maybe heat up a cup of coffee and clean my shop and um, we'll get back out here uh, hopefully tomorrow uh, but definitely in the next couple days but done for the night uh, i got off a little bit early tonight i think it's uh, about 5 5 30 and uh, i'm not getting uh, too involved tonight i think i'm going to figure out how i'm going to join the rest of the seat uh, support braces together probably just some pocket holes and uh, i think i'm going to cover some of the exposed screws with some sawdust and wood glue to get that dry in that looks about right. We're gonna call that good. I don't mind leaving it a little bit messy. I'm gonna come back and finish sand anything anyway. So we're gonna repeat the process uh, four more times. Then I'll probably work on the pocket holes for my uh, the other parts of the seat. All right, we're gonna pocket hole these. Uh, I have already, you see I'm a little, little bit of wood chips already. I have already uh, adjusted this and did a test drill in a piece of scrap to make sure it was the depth that I'm gonna want. All right, so we're gonna do the two corner pieces first. The ones that don't need pocket screws, I'm gonna do a little glue up Put a little glue on them, uh, lock it down where I want it with the clamps, then I'll get it attached. A lot of glue squeeze out, but that's okay. Um, I'll wipe it all down. It, it's gonna get final sanded anyway, no big deal. We're gonna do two three inch deck screws on each side. Okay, so I got uh, just the two on, just the two outside ones. I got quite a bit of glue squeezing out, which is good. I, you know, I like a lot of glue in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of time and clean uh, what I can out and up, and then we'll get the other four pieces in. Before I lock this down and screw it, I am going to uh, get my speed square out and make sure it is square. I'm then using this big clamp here uh, to lock the boards down so they don't shift, uh, which sometimes can happen with pocket screws. So this is going to do two things. It's going to first prevent that and second make sure my board is flush. I like it. Two and a half inch pocket screws. Perfect. Same thing on this side. I do want to make sure that's still square, which it is. All right, guys, I have ran out of time out here. I am done for the night. Uh, I did make some progress, but I've made some mistakes. I'm going to show them to you um, so you don't make mistakes when you build your chair. It's so important to plan ahead of time. And uh, if you remember, I didn't really do a lot of that. I'm not happy with how much space is in between there. I want this chair to be very durable. I want it to support uh, anybody who sits on it. Uh, it needs more support. I've got two options. Uh, I can get thicker lumber for the actual seat, but that's expensive. You know, I'm a poor guy. I'm on a budget. I probably don't want to do that. So I'm going to add uh, more supports. I'm going to put a support in between each one of those gaps. So I'm gonna mill down some of the scraps I have at the same wood, and uh, hopefully that'll be what I do the next time I'm out here. I did get all the holes filled, and uh, yeah, so next time I'm out, I'm milling down more wood, then we can move forward. We are back at it again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out here tonight, I got some wood, uh, rough cut. I'm gonna work on the, I'm gonna work on some extra pieces I wanna add to the bench for support, and I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Let me show you what I'm working with, what we're gonna do, and. 
Here we go. I got thinking about this uh, last night when I was out here uh, doing a little bit of work, and I think it's gonna obviously help uh, with support and the structure, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool too. I'm gonna get these milled down, and I'm gonna add those in here, uh, something like that. Uh, I think it's gonna add to the overall look, and obviously it's gonna be a, a very functional a very functional piece of the, the bench. So I'm gonna get these milled down, probably not gonna film too much of that, and then we'll uh, bring you back here when I start uh, getting ready to make the cuts, and uh, hopefully we can get everything fitted up tonight. All right, I have got all my uh, boards uh, joined and planed. I'm gonna get them on the table saw and get them to the width I want. I'm gonna start with the supports going underneath the bench, then I'll uh, work on the armrests. Then, then I'll work on the armrests, excuse me. This is kind of what I was talking about, is I'm going to put a piece here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is cut one to, uh, I'm going to get one to fit the way that I want to fit, and then I'll cut the other three to duplicate it. Okay, so I've got that piece. Uh, that's kind of where I want it. I left enough room right here so I could round over the bottoms, uh, so I don't have that weak uh, square edge. I'm going to measure this and cut the other three the same size. That's uh, almost a perfect fit, so uh, three more to go. Okay, so I'm actually super happy. Uh, these all fit perfect at uh, 45 degrees. I don't need to make any adjustments. I'll have to be careful while I screw them in. I thought I was gonna be able to pocket hole them, but um, you know, I guess I just didn't think I should have done a different angle. Uh, the other support pieces are also pocket holed and these line up in the same spot. And th these pocket holes would probably hit those pocket screws. So I'll probably just go through here um, with two screws on each side, probably some long, you know, three or four deck screws should be more than uh, enough. But before I do that, I'm going to use my router and round over the bottom of the legs. So I got the leg bottoms rounded over. Now I'm going to take my time and glue and screw these on. Okay, so I've got all four uh, screwed and glued on. I'm pretty happy with the overall finish. I think once it's uh, final sanded, I think I should have a pretty seamless finish. So I just mixed up some more uh, sawdust and wood glue. I'm gonna fill these holes, which I'll sand tomorrow. Ooh, that heater feels good. <laughs> It's actually not, it's not too bad right now. It's probably 50 degrees, uh, feels pretty good. I think I'm probably done for the night. Uh, I was hoping to get to the armrests, but it took a little bit more time with uh, fit and finish on those 45 degree support pieces. I wanted to make sure they were right, um, kind of as perfect as I could make them, which is probably far from perfect. Um, I wasn't sure going into it if that would be too much. That was an afterthought. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if it's too much um, to add those, if it's going to look like there's too much going on. I don't know. Um, and I won't really know until it, the, I've got the final finish on there. Uh, what, do you, what, would, what do you think about that? Is that too much? Uh, should I left them on, off? What would you have done? Um, anyhow, uh, I'm going to clean up. I didn't make too much of a, uh, of a mess tonight. I kind of cleaned as I went. I'm going to do a little sweeping, uh, put a couple of my hand tools away, and probably start taking some measurements and think about what I want to do for the armrests. Again, I'm kind of going into this with no plan, just uh, freestyling. It's my style. It's how I like to do it. 
and uh, had a really good night. I have a, a lot of time I can spend out here tomorrow, so hopefully we can make some more progress. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of uh, sanding to do. I've got this all sanded to 120, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this rag just a little bit damp, and I'm gonna wipe all the external, uh, kind of the showing faces that are gonna be visible. I'm gonna wipe them with just a little bit of water. I'll let it sit for just a minute or two. Most of the sanding is done. I'll probably do one last final sand before it's all assembled. But uh, we're going to take some measurements and work on the seat slats, and then I hope to get to the uh, armrests. I got the first uh, seat slat cut. Um, I'm going to cut the back one now because that one's going to have to have some notches cut out of it, and then I'll just fit everything up in the middle. Um, I've got the front one overhanging the front of the bench about a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to round that over. All right, so I got four of the five seat slats uh, cut to length, 68 and a half inches. Uh, I used a cross-cut sled to do that. My camera ran out of battery, so I had to run back in the house. <laughs> First four seat slats laid out, uh, spaced evenly and locked down. Now I'm going to make some measurements and get the, the back piece cut out because it's going to have to be notched just a little bit. Time to relax with a cold one. I've got the seat slats all uh, cut to length. They've been on the router table so I've got a nice round over on all the edges. The spacing is pretty consistent, kind of where I wanted it, so that's good. I'm going to relax with the Dr. Pepper then I'm going to distress that pine. Just got the seat all buttoned up, really happy. Um, I do need to fill all those holes. And now I'm gonna figure out the armrest. I can't find my impact driver and it's not even that messy. Found it. We're gonna do some three inch deck screws. Two uh, matching armrests. Uh, they fit well. They're nice and flush. I'm going to round over the uh, edges on the router table. All right. It is uh, about six o'clock. I'm supposed to be to a party in one hour, so we're going to get this wrapped up for the night. I did get all the holes filled uh, that I uh, drilled today, attaching the seat. I got the armrests routed, uh, all rounded over, sanded. They are not attached yet, so I will have to do that tomorrow and. Uh, we're making some progress. I should figure out how I'm going to attach that seat tomorrow, and it's looking good. I'm happy with it. Good morning. It is uh, 11. Just finished up some coffee. Uh, I actually need to go in and get my cup so I can bring it out here. I forgot it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to spend the first part of the morning here sanding all the holes that I filled yesterday. I'm going to attach the armrests. Then I'm going to move everything out of my shop and clean it up and start getting this thing ready for uh, finish, some stain. <laughs> I just spent about an hour and a half, cleaned the shop, put, it all, put all the tools away, it feels good in here. I'm going to clean up the bench, I'm probably going to vacuum it, blow it off, and then uh, wipe it all down with mineral spirits and go find some uh, finish. 
and I am going to uh, finish it before I even start trying to attach the tailgate. Uh, I've got a few ideas for how I'm going to do that, but it'll be easiest to finish the bench uh, first. I can always come back after uh, you know I attach the tailgate and uh, touch some things up. It'll be I think it'll be easiest for me just to finish it first, then figure out how I'm going to get that tailgate back there. So uh, yeah, going to get it cleaned up, and we'll go to the store and get some finish. The supervisor's in the shop. I usually don't let her in here, but she's working on her own project, so we're gonna allow it today. Um, but just because I'm in here with her. If I don't like it, I can't blame you for it. You should have me anyway. These armrests look really good. I just got the first uh, coat on, and uh, the instructions on this say to wait six hours before doing another coat, and I'm gonna follow them. Uh, there's a possibility I'll come out and uh, put the second coat on tonight or I might do it first thing in the morning and then we also got to do the, the polyurethane so uh, we're definitely closer to being done just kind of the, the slow stuff now good morning it is a it is a cold one um, not a lot going on today uh, I'm going to put the second coat of stain on I'm gonna heat the shop before I do anything. Then I'll get the second coat of heat on. I've gotta do a little sanding in between. And uh, I hope uh, later in the afternoon to get the first coat of poly on. And then I'll do another coat the next time I come out. And then we'll be ready to attach the, the tailgate and uh, wrap this thing up. It's been a really fun build. And so I've got some uh, very fine steel wool. I'm gonna go over the, the entire bench. Then I'll get it cleaned up again. Do one more coat of stain. And then I'm kind of at a still point on this project for, uh, you know, six hours according to the directions. I got the second coat of stain on. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, I think it looks really good. I can't wait to see it complete. I'm kind of at a stalemate in here. I don't want to kick up too much dust and get it onto my project. So uh, I'm going to run some errands, probably go visit Woodcraft, talk to the guys in there, clean the tailgate outside, and we'll bring you back later, uh, hopefully, for the first coat of poly. So this is where I'm at. I did come out here last night and got the first coat of poly on here. Uh, it feels great, really smooth, it looks good, no bubbles. I'm gonna go over to the. I'm gonna go over the entire bench with this uh, foam abrasive pad, 220 grit. Uh, just a light pass over everything. Then I'm gonna get it cleaned up and go over it uh, one more time with poly. Let me tell you what that heater. Uh, I just picked that up today because it's cold. It's like 42 degrees outside, and it, it, it has heated my shop up to t-shirt weather. I broke a sweat. Um, so that's good. I'm gonna take just a quick second and show you kind of what I'm thinking about how I'm going to attach this bench while that uh, Or excuse me attach the tailgate while the bench dries. So I have three of these. They are heavy-duty gate hinges They're gonna go right here, and I've also cut these little blocks to sit flush I'm gonna put one there one on the other side and one in the middle that way the hinge will be uh, Screwed into both the tailgate the block and then the blocks gonna be screwed underneath the tailgate with uh, heavy-duty metal screws that's how I'm going to attach the bottom of the tailgate to the bench. Uh, and this is all subject to change. I, I, mean, I think it's gonna work just fine. Each of those hinges is rated to, I think, 80 pounds. Um, this tailgate doesn't even weigh 80 pounds. And I wanted to use that in the other way, which I'm gonna show you, because I wanted to leave as much as the tailgate exposed as possible. I didn't want any wood supports behind it. Um, and that's just a personal uh, opinion. I wanted as much as the tailgate to show as possible. Then to connect the tailgate, uh, the upper part of the tailgate, I'm gonna cut this up and make some brackets that are gonna bolt right there with bolts that were in here when I picked up the tailgate. Then I'll fasten them to the back of the legs. They're gonna look something like this, just a lot more heavy duty and robust.
just like that, it's a wrap for the night. These last couple nights have been kind of slow moving. Uh, just really the finish work on the bench, and that should be done. I'm gonna clean up really nice with a brown paper bag. And I'm hoping tomorrow to start making these brackets and getting this tailgate mounted up, I hope. I'm probably gonna need two people to do that, uh, at least myself and another person. So uh, again, that's what I hope to start on tomorrow and hopefully have it attached, but uh, it's coming soon. Final product, I can't wait. This is pretty cool. Look at how good those hinges work. <laughs> yep, I have got to clean this shop. But uh, I appreciate uh, all of you who watched the show. I hope you found some value, learned something, either from something I done or the mistakes I made. For uh, So when you build your chair, you make it better and you don't make any mistakes. I know you can do it. Uh, you know, if I can get out here and do these kind of things, uh, anybody can. If you've uh, made it this far and you like seeing this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, it means a lot to me and it's a really easy way to support uh, you know, a small channel like this. So um, build on. We'll see you soon.